Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to discuss about Kubernetes cluster and how to set up Kubernetes cluster in Red Hat Enterprise Linux system or CentOS system. So I'm running a CentOS 7.5, the latest version, and also there are no packages marked for updates. So before installation or before initiate your Kubernetes installation, you just need to ensure that your system is up to date by running command m update minus y. So once you've done that, you just need to ensure that your IP information is updated in slash etc host file. So I have updated my IP here. This is my Kubernetes master server and this is my client. And I name is as minions because in Kubernetes, Kubernetes wall, we can call the client system as minions. And you'd be able to also ensure that your client system are pinging. So let me just try that. And for some reason it is not pinging okay so let me just check why it is net state minus rn my gateway is up probably the IP is not correctly updated in my host file because for the minion I believe it is 45 and for my master it is 46 let me just save this file and try to ping now oh sorry it is 45 so it is pinging and if I check the IP here IP A and it is 45 okay and also let me just confirm my master IP it is 46 and there is only one interface excellent so you just need to ensure the IP is pinging the next step what you have to do is you have to ensure that your firewall is disabled and also AC Linux is disabled otherwise it will going to fail because there are le there are a lot of issues if you enable your AC Linux and the context will not going to allow you to start your service so let me just check the status for AC Linux is disabled and also for IP, IP table or firewall D. So firewall D is disabled. So I'm going to install my package. So before installing the package, I need two packages. The one is cube ADM, another one is Docker. So Docker is by default available in your repository, which is coming under your EPL release. And the other one, kubeadm, which is not available under this package. For that, what you have to do is you need to create a separate repository. Let me just create that. So let me just paste it here. Okay, I think I miss the name in front. So let me just give a name here. I think I'm good here. So this is the repository. Just need to ensure this is available and it is pinging. This side is pinging. And sometimes your repository chains you just need to go to this location and check whether this repository is available or not. And let me just save this file. And if I do a yum install now and try to install kubeadm and docker, I would be able to install these two packages. Right, so I can see there are two packages, packages docker and kubeadm, which is going to install. One is from Kubernetes repository, which I just added, and one is from extra repository and there are some few dependency which is also going to install so there are about 74 MB in size so they're going to install let me just pause the video because this is going to take some time okay so my packages are installed you can see install these two packages and there are some dependencies so next step is to start my service for I in my two services are docker and also kubelet okay so this is the 
service name. CDL start and also I just wanted to ensure when my system reboot the service comes up. Excellent. So I just started the services. And next step, what you have to do is you need to disable your swap because in this method when you are trying to install, if your swap is enabled, the installation process will going to fail. So that is why what we have to do is just need to disable this line here and also swap off minus A. So now if I do free minus H, I can see there is no swap. Okay, so that is the third step and the next step would be going to my sysctl dot file. If I just go inside this, currently there is nothing. I need to update two setting here. So these are the two settings which you need to update otherwise your installation process will fail. So let me just save it and let me just clear my screen and to take effect I need to run this command sysctl minus p. Excellent. So what next? The next step is to going to initialize my cluster. To initialize your cluster, you have to run a command called qadm and init which is going to initialize your cluster setup. And I'm going to set a network for my pod. So what are the pod I'm going to run in this cluster or going to manage by this cluster in mini nodes or client nodes are going to be in this IP range, right? So you need to ensure the IP range which you are providing here is not used anywhere. Otherwise, you will end up having issues. So let me just try to run this command. And it is initialized. I can see there is some certificate which is currently generating and downloading from internet. And there are some configuration file which is going to write these are the main configuration file for your Kubernetes cluster, admin, kubelet, controller manager, scheduler and also one is API. Okay, so those are the file which is going to configure through this QVDM command. So you don't have to manually configure it, it is all automated. So currently what it is happening is like the Kubernetes is talking with docker because I have installed docker and docker is trying to pull some images from docker hub and trying to run some container. If I just go to my client node here in minions and try to SSS to my master node which is kubemaster01 and try to run some command called docker images. I can see there are some images which is currently in progress to pull it and also if I can just check for the status in every one second what is happening images so it is about 7 and it is changing you can see there are one more packages uh, one more images downloaded so this is how it is going to start the container so we have to wait because this is going to take some time about 10 to 15 minutes hardly depend on your internet oh excellent so it all got downloaded it seems if I just now run the command docker image these are the four images and also there are some container I believe it is running if I just run docker ps I can see the container running for etcd API server controller those are running excellent so now what next the next step which is given here itself so what we have to do is we need to create this directory like it has given here and also this one enter and this one as well copy paste done so now if I run kubectl get node I would be able to see my node status so if I just run this command again 
here you can able to see the status is currently not ready that means it's still in the process of setting up my kubernetes cluster and you can also do some use some option minus o wide if you just run this command you'd be able to see some more information about my os kernel version etc and also if you just notice to add any minions with your this Kubernetes cluster server you need to run this command so for future purpose you can just save this and you can run it in your minion system you'd be able to add your minions with your Kubernetes cluster anyway I'm going to show you that one but for now let me just wait until my cluster status shows as ready let me just run this command one more time it is still in the process of getting ready okay so what it is happening in background if you wanted to see let me just do that one more time kubernetes get pods okay so to see your pods what are the pods running in your system you just need to run this command but now I can see there is no pods running basically the pods which run is on your minion system or in your client system not in the master that is why I cannot see any pods here but if I wanted to see the namespace which I have initiated and created some container uh, here the containers are right for my admin kubelets and controller manager and also API servers you'd be able to see by running this command minus all namespaces and you can see those are running everything looks good this is my etcd this is my api server this is my controller manager and the others important container right the next step what is i need to follow is about my docker container network so if i just do at ip and now i can see there is interface uh, ens33 this is my public network and there is one docker interface which is in 17 network and you remember I ran a command when I initialized the cluster I have given uh, IP range for my pod which is 172.30.0.0 so now I need to set up my networking for my pod so for that what I have to do is I have to go to the internet and here in web browser if you just come here and if you go to github core os under flannel and scroll it down you would be able to see how flannel is work and other information about flannel and there is one command there is one command given here to set up your flannel network so let me just copy this and let me just clear my screen here and paste it and I need just I just need to run this command and once I run this command you can see my flannel network is created and there is some container container going to run under my Kubernetes cluster and you'd be able to see those information by running this command again but before showing this I need to show you this one again because here you cannot see the flannel container or namespace namespace but now if I run this command I can see there is one more namespace which is for flannel and this is in the state of initialization so it is still trying to initialize and try to start my flannel network so I have to wait for some time let me just run this command again and see if there is any interface created I don't see anything created let me just wait for some time to f create this flannel it is in pending state now okay it is running but for DNS it is in pending state let me just try to run this command one more time and see if that again for my container uh, again for, for my DNS it is try to create it and now if I try to run kubectl get nodes and now I can see my node is ready state 
that means it is all good and if I just try to see in details about my flannel you can able to run the command describe and specify the pod name and also the namespace name which is cube minus a system let me just run this command again and cube ctl describe pods and then I just need to copy my pod here and now I need to specify namespace equal to here it is so I can see about my namespace some information about my namespace which is flannel so this is how you'll be able to see when it is created which version it is and other inf information about the flannel okay so let me just do a IPA now and see whether the flannel network is created and I can see there is one I flannel interface is created and IP range is set for 172 30 range so that is what which I have mentioned initially when I have initialized my cluster excellent so that is how you have to configure your Kubernetes cluster your Kubernetes cluster is ready and you would be able to add any pods in your Kubernetes master so I will show you those in my coming videos and also if you would like to see about the manual setup like uh, the namespace which is currently running this is because running in a container I haven't done any manual configuration if you wanted to do this manual config configuration just to understand how they work then just let me know I will create another video about manual configuration for Kubernetes cluster and that's it for this video I have few steps which I have followed here these are the steps I have followed I will update those steps in my video description area for your reference you'd be able to follow this and you'd be able to set up your Kubernetes cluster thank you so much for watching this video if you feel this video is informative for you then please hit like subscribe and share with your friends thank you so much wherever I go wherever I see I'll remember you if you remember